This video shows you how to connect PLCs and controllers to the Compact HMI. It also shows you how to use Bulk Data Manager to create device objects. In this scenario, we are connecting AC800M process controller using OPC connectivity to the Compact HMI. To get started, enable the soft controller. This step gives the user access to download the project to the soft controller. Select the Compact Control Builder and open the project that is being used and download the project to the soft controller as shown. Please note that the soft controller is a simulation tool that can be used when users may not have access to AC800M process controller hardware. To browse and connect each signal to the corresponding property in the PLC, the OPC server must be connected to the PLCs and the controllers. As shown, it is important to remember that installation software of the soft controller, compact control builder, and the OPC server is available as a separate media. Data from the PLCs are received by signal objects defined in the control structure found in the engineering workplace. The device object types with corresponding signals, graphic elements, and faceplates can be instantiated and connected to the individual signals in the PLCs. In the control structure to create device instances that can be utilized for data presentation, select the OPC server for the PLC that contains properties that you want to access, as shown. Right-click the OPC server and create a new object. Select the object type, in this scenario, a valve type, and enter a name, as shown. The signal configuration aspect allows to connect each signal to the corresponding property in the PLC. In the signal configuration aspect, signals that are not used by the object should be disabled by selecting the signal not used checkbox. To connect the signal, select connected in the variable connection field. Select browse to connect to the property in the AC800M process controller. Select apply in the OPC browser window to save the changes as shown. Repeat the same procedure for configuring each signal. Please note that the browse function is only available if the OPC server supports browsing. A signal can also be connected by adding the address string for the property. Users can modify default signal values by unchecking the Use Default Signal Value checkbox as shown. To test the connection, a deploy is needed. Select the PLC Connect Server object and then select the Deploy aspect. Select Deploy. Select one of the signal objects and select the binary process control aspect, binary PCA. Select the subscribe for live data checkbox to verify the data is retrieved from the PLC. Users can also retrieve live data from all the signals that are placed in this object by selecting object dialog. In this scenario, the command from the device faceplate enables us to see the signal status live from the PLC. Receiving live values from signals indicates that the PLC connect functions as required. The display element of the device object also gives you the status of the device. It is recommended to use Bulk Data Manager to create multiple device objects in the control structure.
To use the bulk data manager, open the Microsoft Excel. Select the Add-ins tab and activate bulk data manager as shown. To attach the bulk data manager to the system, attach the system structure as shown. This scenario shows you how to add a second valve object on the control structure using VDM. Click the device object, valve 01, and select the name aspect. Drag and drop the name aspect to the Microsoft Excel and configure the desired properties using the configure properties as shown. The next step is to drag and drop the Valve 01 device object from the control structure to the Microsoft Excel. Delete the rows that contains the signal connections. Configuration of the signals of the device object will be done in the second sheet of Excel. Use the drag feature of Excel and the Valve 02 object name is created. Simply save the BDM and you will notice that the Valve O2 device object is created in the control structure as shown. To create the signal configuration, select any of the Valve O1 device object binary signal type and select the signal configuration aspect. Drag and drop the aspect to the second sheet in Excel and configure the desired properties using the configure property window as shown. Users have option to use the filter function to custom the view of the source object. Copy and paste the signal and use the Excel replace feature to replace valve 01 with valve 02 and save the bulk data manager as shown. To test the connection, a deploy is needed. Select the PLC Connect server object and then select the deploy aspect. Select deploy. Receiving live values from signals indicates that the PLC Connect functions as required. This shows how simple and effective it is to use the bulk data manager to configure device objects in the control structure. This completes the process to add device object in the control structure using VDM. Please note that the bulk data manager can be used to create multiple device objects at a time. More information about connecting PLCs and controllers to the Compact HMI can be found in the Compact HMI Getting Started Guide. We thank you for watching.